Really, mobile phones were a great invention, but these mobile phones run on big and bulky lithium ion batteries and these lithium ion batteries need to be recharged again and again when they get discharged. Not only this, these mobile charging thing requires a lot of time and is a tedious job. And we all know that in 21st century, no one has time to waste on just charging their mobile phone. Another problem with these battery is that it is not eco-friendly and they could not be easily be recycled and the recycling process costs a lot. So we have our savior known as the graphene battery. Graphene battery is based on the electrical principles or the electrical properties of graphene which conducts electricity more than copper so which makes it a great conductor next we have a graphene battery's dimensions it is smaller than a 3 cm scale or it's uh, just smaller than the conventional pen drive not only this it scales out the need for bulky and hazardous lithium ion batteries so what are the outputs of this battery so to prove the outputs we have this video in this video we have our graphene battery plugged into the breadboard and now i would like to tell you that what i claim for this battery i claim that uh, this battery requires only three seconds of charge and can run an led up to four minutes here i insert the 12 volt 1 ampere power supply for the charging of battery and i count down to three seconds it's one two and three and it's done i don't think that any battery in the market do so so here i have a red colored crystal clear led and i plugged it into the breadboard So here you can see the LED has to be started glowing. Meanwhile in this video I would like to tell you what are the future applications for this battery. So as you can see here the LED is still glowing after my 5 seconds countdown. So it will remain to glow until 4 minutes. So meanwhile I would like to tell you the applications. So if you come on to the applications. It has a number of applications based on the properties of graphene. Graphene is a one atom thick uh, carbon isotope or it is a one atom thick layer of graphite. So uh, it is a two dimensional element. So we can make electronics transparent as well as graphene is flexible too. And it's more stronger than steel and diamond. So with these great properties, we can make a mobile phone or a device which is totally transparent, flexible and can run up to hours and hours without any recharging. So we can use it in our mobile phones, laptops, TV remotes, radios and uh, anything which uses power or anything which uses batteries. It would totally replace these all conventional non-eco-friendly batteries which are available in the market another good aspect of my battery is that it is way more cheaper than a 10 rupees dry cell available in the market it cost me around just one to two rupees because of the materials used inside it another great aspect of my battery is that it is a totally homemade battery and even you can make this battery without any lab equipments. It was a lack of uh, time and lack of lag lab equipments but still we developed this battery which can greatly compete other batteries in the market. All we now need is some proper research facilities so that we can make this battery more flexible and more productive because now it's just in the production stage it's not the final prototype another uh, great thing about my battery is that its main inspiration was from the people of northeast india 
which suffer a lot from the power problems or the power resources so that inspired me to make some kind of a battery that could last for long and just charge in seconds so here you can see that i think 4 minutes have already passed but still the led is glowing so i think that's a great thing and i don't think that any battery in the market do so all you need is some more money lab equipments and some great research facilities to improve this battery and we could totally change the world of electronics and power management and that all starts from india itself